Finally, the WhatsApp marketing training is here. And right here, I'm going to be exposing you to how you can actually 10x your online sales with WhatsApp and um, AI, right? So let's just um, get right into it. But um, while we wait, while we wait for others to come in, here are some of the rules and sort of like reminders that I want you to keep in mind, okay? The first thing first is that I need you to turn off all distractions and get your writing materials ready. So if you know that um, you're currently in a place where there is noise, you're going to be distracted, I think you should excuse yourself. Yes, you might want to excuse yourself and get away from those distractions. Get an hairpiece if possible so that you concentrate better. And also get yourself a writing material, right? Get yourself your notebook and your writing pen so that you can take things down, so that you can take notes. Then feel free as well to type your questions in the comments. So as you go through um, this class and then a question pops into your mind, just drop your questions in the comments, write it out, and so that I'm going to answer all questions um, at the end of the webinar, right? So make sure that you do that. Type your questions in the comments, write it down in your book so that you don't forget, okay? So once those questions pop in your mind, do that. Then, uh, like I said, I would answer the questions right after, at the end of the webinar, all right? So don't forget to do that. Those are just some of the house rules. So if you know that right now you don't have your writing material with you, you don't have your bio and book, yes, bio and book, I'll give you like two seconds. Sorry, two seconds is too small. <laughs> I'll give like a few minutes, right? So just go and get it. So get yourself a notebook and stay away from distractions because remember what we're going to learn here. We're here for serious business, okay? We're here for serious business. We're here to learn how you can actually connect your online sales with WhatsApp and AI. That means if you're currently making just one sale, at the end of this training, if you apply everything I'm going to be teaching you right here, you should be able to make at least 10. So that means if you're currently making 10, you'll be able to make at least what? 10 times 10 is what? 100. If you're currently making 100, 100 times 10 is what? 1,000. You should be able to make 1,000. And this is serious business, right? Uh, we're trying to learn. These are things that, um, that cost me a lot of time, a lot of money to learn. So I'm here to really basically teach you from my experience majorly and you don't want to joke with things like this you want to take it serious these are not just this is not i'm supposed to charge for this um, particular training i don't even know why i changed my mind and i hope you people will not um make me regret changing my mind I hope you guys are going to value it because to be very frank but let me not talk so much let's just um by now you should have gotten your writing materials right you should have gotten it remember turn off all distractions have your writing material beside you feel free like i said type your questions in the comment section once during the uh, course of the training you have a question just drop the question in the comment section so that um, i'm gonna respond to your question so, and so that you don't forget okay don't keep keep them in your mind don't trust that okay i'll, I'll just ask this i know type it so that i'm going to answer your questions okay now what are we going to be learning in this webinar we're really going to be looking at touching on all these um, areas we're going to be looking at the evolution of whatsapp marketing we're also going to be looking at um, new marketing strategies that actually worked in 2023 right that is in this present here that we have right now and we're also going to be looking at um, how to develop your own working strategy right that's going to be working for you in your business uh, we're going to be looking at the HOP principle. I call it I call it the up principle. It's a principle that I actually um, came up with myself. So I'm going to be exposing you to that as well. We're also going to be looking at WhatsApp funnels, and we're going to be looking at um, automations. Right, we're going to be checking on all of these. So sit tight, ensure no distractions, ensure you have your writing materials ready now before i move on let me just um, give a little bit of intro about myself because i know that it's not everybody that is here that knows me right so for those of you that don't know me my name is mandy rachel and i'm a seven-figure affiliate and a digital marketing consultant so 
Um, some of you that know me before, you know, I used to be a shoemaker, a bag maker, a dressmaker. I was literally in the fashion world. I run a fashion business and I ran my fashion business from the internet. Like I had no shop where, or should I say I had no showroom where I was displaying my fashion stuff. The only workspace I had was a factory where we did production. And I started this um, factory from my house, right, from my house. And then when I started making money, I moved on to get a, a mini flat apartment that I was using for my production to the unfortunate accident that led to me breaking my hand and everything, everything like that. So I don't want to bore you guys with stories. But what I'm just trying to tell you is this. With my vast experience in selling online, because all of my life I've been running businesses online. I, I've never even worked at a paid employment before. It's not something I'm proud of, to be very honest. I wish, I wish when I started, I actually did work in a, in an organization. But you know, the mentality that we used to graduate back then was, I want to have my own business. And of course, to be very honest and frank, there's even no job in Nigeria. So I had that mind of, I wanted to be self-employed. So that led me to learning shoemaking, bag making, and all of that. But like I said, I don't want to bore you guys with all of the details. Now, with my vast experience in selling online, both as an amateur and as a professional, I've made multiple seven figures online selling physical products, like I told you guys, digital products that I currently actually sell right now. And all of this using just my smartphone. I bet you won't believe that, right? But that is what I use. My smartphone and some basic applications that I have installed on my phone. So having sold all of these things, I can tell you for free that incorporating WhatsApp into your business will actually help you make more money without stress. That is a fact. I remember back when I just started, wow, I, I don't even know how to save people's number. Like, I'm not saying I don't know how to save it literally. Of course, I know how to save number. I mean, I don't bother to save it because I feel like it's not necessary. But we'll get into that much more later. So I'm just trying to let you know that incorporating WhatsApp into your sales process will actually help you to make more money and I teach people how to leverage on their smartphones majorly to make money online. I'm an advocate of smartphone productivity, smartphone financial, or should I call it financial freedom or is it financial empowerment? Yeah, that, that should be the word. Smartphone financial empowerment because um you don't need a laptop to make money online. To be honest, laptop can maybe make your life some things you do a lot more easier, but it's not an excuse, okay? It's not an excuse. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. My Google Assistant just picked. I don't know what it picked and it was trying to respond to me. But let's move on. Let's move on. Now, evolution of WhatsApp marketing. Let us, you know, let's just take a trip down memory lane. What exactly is marketing, right? From the strategies that you choose to adopt to the target, what you're trying to target, that is your target audience, your target customers, to you making profits, the innovations you try to put into it, the plans, everything, all of these things actually encompasses to give you what marketing is. And for most people, especially when it comes to WhatsApp marketing, they are doing it wrong. You keep working with a plan A that is not giving you results and you refuse to switch or at least come up with a plan B to help you. Do you understand? You refuse to innovate. You refuse, you, you, it's more like you're still living in the past, right? You, you refuse to follow strategies that are working. You're still so engrossed with old strategies that probably gave you results before. But honestly, it's no longer giving you results. Why don't you just stab it so that you can make progress, so that you can hit your targets and make profits in your business? Like I said, let's take a trip um, down memory lane and connect the dots to see how WhatsApp marketing became popular and how it evolved from what it was back then to what it is right now. Now, the thing is that in the past, let's say, five, seven years ago, around like say 2017 to 2020, 21, there about, doing WhatsApp marketing was actually very fantastic and very sweet and very easy. Those of you that actually did it back then, you will understand what I'm saying. It was very easy for you to just put up a post 
on, on your WhatsApp status, for instance, and people would naturally want to buy from you, it was easy for you to just, you know, do all of those things. You can easily just ask people to save your contact and then they will be willing to save your contacts, right? You can easily tell people, please share my 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 WhatsApp number on your WhatsApp status. When WhatsApp status just came out back then, and let people save my number and then I can save their number too. And people would naturally want to want to do that. And it's not it's not even just the fact that they naturally want to do that. You would actually still get results from those activities back then. You can easily put up a, a post on Facebook that says um, save my number, drop your, your your own number as well in the comment section and all of those things. And if you if you observe, there was a time that those things were actually quite popular back then. And people would naturally respond to you and they would they would just want to do it willingly, naturally, without uh, without any high alertness anywhere or, you know, without feeling, you know, it was just easy. You won't even think twice about it. You would just naturally do it. And why do you think all of those things work back then and they no longer work now? I'm going to explain it to you. The reason why it worked then was because it was done not with the intention to sell, even though you might want to still sell later. But it was done not with the intention to sell. It was done with the intention to actually build genuine connections. Also, it seemed like that was the reason why it was being done. I remember that when WhatsApp was launched, I think WhatsApp was launched in 2009-2010. When it was launched, launched when, when it was launched, sorry, WhatsApp is an instant messaging app. So it was an app meant for let's just chat, let's just chill, let's just vibe. So anybody that has your WhatsApp number, you guys feel kind of like, you know, like like I'm making friends, like you're making friends. So you guys feel kind of like close. And another thing is this, people don't like to be sold to. So that angle and that area where it is coming from is like, let me save this person's number. And this person also saved my number. And we can be friends, not we can buy from each other. Although friends buy from each other, right? And as uh, along the line, you guys will eventually end up patronizing each other. But because the main reason why people thought that was why it was done was because they wanted to build genuine connections, not because they wanted to save your number to buy from you or you guys should be buying from each other. And it worked. It even got to the extent that people now started selling VCF files for contact gain because of the fact that when people genuinely did this back then, it worked. And the reason why it worked, like I said, was because people wanted to really, really build connections, right? And the intentions, people saw it as pure. But something happened along the line, right? Something happened and then it stopped working. You see that thing that happened along the line was that the trust was broken. Let me explain it to you. Remember that um, naturally, eh, people will trust you because you are in their WhatsApp. Do you know why? Because they feel like you are their friend, right? You guys saved each other's number or back then because you wanted to be friends. We wanted to be friends, not necessarily because I want to be buying something from you. That was not the intention. So it was naturally people will just trust you because they feel like you know you will trust your friend, you will trust your family members. So it was easy for them to buy things from you easily. So if you if you if you advertise something, they feel like okay, let me support my friend, and then they will buy from you, right? If you present things to them, they can easily buy without even thinking twice about it. Okay, but what happened was this: some bad eggs, yes, some bad eggs fought it, and the trust was broken. Some people just saved your number because they are looking to scam you. You know, there was a time that a lot of people, you will order something online, you will pay, and then they will block you. Do you understand all of those things? And another thing is this. No matter the number of friends that you think you have, at a point or sooner than later, or sooner or later, you're going to exhaust them because your friends will not always buy from you all the time. Do you understand? So that was what happened. People are now on very, very high alerts and they are no longer, like, they no longer trust people. They no longer trust you simply because you are in their WhatsApp. Unlike before, that once you are in somebody, once you have somebody's WhatsApp number, you guys feel like, ah, no, this person, I know this person now. I know this person. They've never met before. But just because you, you have their, your, their phone number, you feel like you know them. You feel like you guys are parties and all of that. So this was actually the thing that led to this um, strategy 
not giving results anymore. Some of you even went as far as buying VCF files, right? And I, I know people that came to my DM, they paid money to actually buy contacts. And it is just useless to them because those contacts, number one, they did not even, they are not even in their WhatsApp status. That means those other contacts, they didn't, they didn't save their number as well. And it's, it's all a waste of time and energy because people are now on very high alerts. People now understand that, okay, you are doing this thing so that I can buy from you. People don't like to be sold to. So even me, including me, we like to buy you. We like to buy. I can go to a store now that I want to buy something. That was why I went there. But the moment you come and start putting it in my face, like, yeah, buy, yeah, buy. I'm like, ah, do you keep money in my hand? People don't like to be sold to. But we actually do like to buy things, right? So all of those things make, made it stop working. And one thing about broken trust there, especially when it comes to WhatsApp marketing, is that as disappointing and as painful as it is, because trust me, when people break your trust, it hurts you to the bone marrow. You will just be pissed off. You will just be disappointed. And you know, you will be transferring that aggression and that pain on other people. And that is what we're seeing now. It's generally for those people running online business. Me that I'm running online business, I, I understand. And I, I believe that you can testify to what I'm, I'm, I'm about to say as well. Let me know. Let me know in the comment section if you can testify to this. The way that we run online business, it's very difficult for people to trust these days. Do you agree? Let me see your comments in there. Let me see if you agree with me or not in the comment section. Do you agree? Now, before people will pay you, even if you send them business accounts, even if you do video call with them, even if, like, they just find it so difficult to trust. Do you know why? Many people have broken their trust in the past. And that pain, that heart is still there. Somebody that one boy or one girl broke their heart, they will transfer it to their next relationship if they don't heal before they move into the next relationship. Do you understand? But there's good news. There's good news because the thing is that as disappointing and as painful as it is, it can always be mended with the right approach. Do you understand? It can always be mended with the right approach. And that is the reason why you need to, if you currently do all of those um, WhatsApp marketing practices that in the olden days, olden days WhatsApp marketing practices, that is no longer giving you results, you need to discard it immediately. I listed out some of these um, mistakes in, an, in a mini training I did earlier. If you've not yet watched it, you should go and watch it. I don't want this uh, particular webinar to be too long, so I don't want to go back to that. You should go and watch it. And then you need to discard all of those things. You understand? You need to discard all of those things and move on, move on, move on, move on into the future. Now, this brings me into the future of WhatsApp marketing. You need to start doing WhatsApp marketing with the right approach. Remember, people are hurting. People no longer trust. It's very hard to, to see people that will trust you these days. So let us move into the future with the correct WhatsApp marketing approach that actually gives results in 2023. See, let me tell you guys something. Over the past few months, I've realized that the, the only method that will work eh, with WhatsApp marketing right now is what I call the permission-based marketing. I don't know if you've heard it before, but I'm telling you here right now that the future and the correct approach for you to use for your WhatsApp marketing is permission-based marketing. Do you understand? So I know, let me explain what permission-based marketing is to you. Um, I'm going to explain it in Lima's language so that you understand me more better. You already know the meaning of marketing, right? And you know the meaning of permission. Oh yeah, let us do 2 plus 2 and make it 22. <laughs> Don't mind me, 2 plus 2 is 4. So, permission marketing is simply asking for people's permission before you market to them, before you show them what you have to offer. See, there's, there's, there's no long story here. Let's not waste time. That is just it. Ask for their permission. Seek their consent before you do anything advertise to them, show them what you have and all of that. Seek their consent, seek their approval, collect their permission. That's what permission-based marketing is all about. See, you need to understand something. Respect is reciprocal. Yes, if you respect me, I'll respect you. If I respect you, you will naturally respect me. That is just it. That is just how life is. And it works in marketing too. 
Do you understand? It works in marketing. So it's a basic rule of life and it also ap applies to marketing, especially WhatsApp marketing. Do you understand? Especially WhatsApp marketing. See, if people did not ask you for something, don't send it to them. It is disrespectful and it is an invasion of privacy. WhatsApp is a private space for people. So this person did not even ask to see what you're selling. This person does not even know that you exist. And the next thing, you're buying contacts from some people, you're buying some VCL files from some people, or you are lifting up, you are lifting up uh, people's phone numbers from groups and you're sending them messages of whatever it is that you have to offer. Number one, you piss the person off, you've annoyed the person. And you expect that somebody that, that is already annoyed with you on first impression to buy from you. No. And people are on high alerts. People are on high alerts. You expect that this person doesn't even know where you are from. This person doesn't even know what you do. This person doesn't even care about you. And you expect them to just believe you and just drop money for you and buy whatever it is you're selling. You are deceiving yourself. Do you understand? You are deceiving yourself and you are wasting your time. So what works? right now for whatsapp marketing in this current future that I've, I've, it's something that I've, I've used over the months and has given me tremendous results right it has given me tremendous results if you do it as well you will also get tremendous results permission based marketing right permission based marketing now which brings me to uh, because I know you are wondering, the question on your mind now is how do you how do you incorporate permission-based marketing into your WhatsApp, right? That's exactly what I'm about to explain to you right now. You would need something called a WhatsApp funnel, right? You would need something called a WhatsApp funnel. Please, if you know you are still following me, I want to see you in the comment section. Type, I am following, I'm following you, I am here, I'm with you, right on. However, it comes to your mind. Let me know in the comment. Type it. I want to see it. So, you need to have a WhatsApp funnel, right? Because remember, for people to buy from you, right, you need to take them through uh, a journey. Should I say yes? It, it's a journey. Because first of all, these people that will buy from you, they will be strangers. Yes. You will not know them. Let me say 80% of people that will buy from you or 75% of people that will buy from you, you are not going to know them. There's 100% chance that your first encounter with them will be like you guys are strangers to each other. You're not going to know them, right? You need to find ways to attract them. Then from the attraction, you will convert them. From the conversion, you will close them. And from after you close them, you delight them and that is when they now carry your gospel on their head like gala and go into the world and spread the gospel on your behalf and you know help you to multiply don't worry i'm going to explain so basically whatsapp funnel is the journey that you take your customers through from their first point of contact to you to the point where they become a customer or to the point where they buy from you right so having a WhatsApp funnel is going to help you to set your WhatsApp sales process on autopilot. If you have a WhatsApp funnel, for instance, eh, it will be easy for you to set up um, several funnels, or should I say, um, it will be easy for you to run your business on your WhatsApp without necessarily being present, right? Without necessarily being present, and your business will still be running for you. For you. And aside from that, it will, it, it will save you a lot of stress because you're now doing the right thing. You're no longer annoying people and the job becomes easy for you. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. The job becomes easy for you. So the first thing for you need to attract people. A funnel is like, oh, I wish I drew the drawing here. But you know what funnel is now? Is it funnel they call us in Yoruba? Aro, yeah, Aro. Sorry for those of you that don't understand Yoruba. Funnel, you know funnel now. So that point, that biggest part of the funnel, that is the top of the funnel, which is the biggest part, that is where you attract people. That is where you have the strangers, the visitors. Take for instance, when you when you put your post on Facebook, right? Those are the places where all those strangers are. Then you see the middle of the funnel. Hmm? 
that's where you have the leads, your customers, right? Because it is not everybody that sees your post on Facebook, for instance, that decides to come close to you to actually give you permission to say, okay, show me what you have. When you post your products on Facebook, for instance, it's not everybody that would eventually tell you, show me what you have. So those are the ones, because they are not much again. The number is reducing. Those are the ones in the middle. Like the middle of the phone, you know, it's getting narrower towards the hand. Then at the hand, the ones that eventually buy from you, those are the ones at the hand. And you see those that tiny part, the end of the of the funnel, the last end of the funnel, those are your promoters. Those are the ones that were extremely satisfied with the services that you gave to them. And you don't even need to ask them. You don't even need to tell them, hey, ha, ah, my customer, this one that you enjoyed my products, can you please refer me to your friends? They will be the ones to do the referring. Unconsciously, they will do it. Why? Because you've delighted them. Do you understand? They will naturally do it. Now, what strategies should you adopt? Let's 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 move ahead. We're wasting time. What strategies should you adopt moving forward? Please, I hope you are still following. If you know you are following, let me see you in the comment section. Let me see you in the comment section. I hope I'm not talking to myself. So the strategies for you to adopt going forward, uh, I'm going to be listing it out for you right now. First things first, then you need to build your customers list or should i say contact list and this list should contain just interested people or interested buyers remember i said permission-based marketing see don't attract people that don't even know what you do into your whatsapp because at the end of the day they don't know what you do so what are they doing on your whatsapp that means they are bad markets they will never buy from you it's a waste of time it's a waste of space you understand so build your contact list of only interested people Interested people that will buy whatever it is that you are selling. And there are two ways you can do this, right? You can do it through organic method and you can do it through using paid advertisements. Do you understand? You can do it with organic method and you can do it with paid advertisement. Let me explain what I mean by organic method. Organic method is you are not going to pay any money. Paid advert, you already know you are going to pay money. So for organic method, you will need to have something called a lead magnet, right? You will need to have you will need to have something called a lead magnet. A lead magnet, like the name that like the name implies, magnet, right? Something to attract. Remember here, attract. You can see this attracts. So your lead magnet is what will attract those strangers and visitors to become customer. So you will need to have a lead magnet to attract them to you, right? You need to have a lead magnet or customer magnet, whatever you want to call it. Or you need to have, a, your lead magnet is like a gift, like an incentive, like a benefit. Remember, people before, you can easily tell people to do something for you and they will do it without thinking twice about it because they feel that it's a mutual benefit and they are building connections. But now people are on high alert. When you tell people, please, Save my number. Let me save your own. They be like, sure, you won't give me money. Why? Why should I save my? Why should I save your number? Or when you be like, please share my, share my, uh, 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 products on your page for me. Or they be like, why should I share for you? You know, I don't know if I should call it. Um, I don't. I don't even know the English word to call it. But you need to have, like, an incentive. That lead magnet is, okay. This is what I have for you. Remember, you are doing permission-based marketing now. You are trying to tell them, come to my, come to WhatsApp. We are going to do this for you. And we, they'll be like, why should I come? Give them a reason. That reason you want to give to them to actually give you cons to, to give you their consent that you should um, advertise to them and sell to them is what we call lead magnets. I did it. I, I used layman's English. I didn't use big, big terms. I hope you understand it. Let me know in the comment section if you understand it. So that is lead magnet. You need to have a lead magnet, right? If you sell physical products, you sell maybe you sell bags, you sell dresses, you sell shoes. Your lead magnets can be if discounts, if discounts uh, uh, attract them. You can say for everyone that follow this link to come to my WhatsApp to order this in the next few hours in the next two three hours i'll give you a special 10 percent discount or you can even run a campaign and say okay 
um for everyone that joins my whatsapp community to see my products when they arrive everybody in that whatsapp community gets automatic 10 percent discounts when all of these products maybe you you import your products or you do people pre-order your products before they buy for instance for me when i was running my digital designs some there are some of my designs is pre-order i don't i don't pro produce it on ground so i can be like join this my whatsapp community and pre-order once in the product comes out you're going to have the chance to get it but for everybody that joins this my community before the pre-order comes out that is the pre-order information and it, because by that time i don't even know the price so that i will know the pre-order i just want to go to markets to go and get materials and everything i'll be like everybody that joins this community before the pre-order thing information and details and now you can get it comes out they automatically get 10 percent discount irrespective of the price that is a lead magnet right that's the customer magnet because they'll be like ha huh, what if I end up liking it when it comes out? I bet let me join. Do you see that? And that way they will give you their consent in exchange for that gift. Do you understand? So give a lead magnet, right? Give use a lead magnet to grow your contact organically. Now, once you've done that, you've 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 added like you've given that. I'm explaining organically now for you. Once you've done that and they've come, you can even Tease them further, right? And say, okay, if you invite your friends to join, I'll give you extra discounts. Just help me to share this. Do you see that? Because they want that extra discount, what will they do? They will share. Can you see how this is going? And before you know it, from one person that came, that one person will share for you. Another one person will come, making two. That those two people will share for you. They can bring in four, and then it multiplies like that. And then you're building your list of interested people. Interested people. Can you see how that works? You're building your list of interested people. But first, I need to warn you. You need to understand your business before you try this. Because if as as sweet as this thing is, if you do use it the wrong way, it will backfire. Do you understand me? It will backfire. So you need to understand your business, what you do, who you want to serve, know your target customer, know your target audience, the products you're selling, know it in and out. Don't go and use your hand to put yourself in trouble. Know it in and out before you do this thing or else when it backfires, you will not like yourself. Do you understand? You will not like yourself telling you this from experience. So you need to have a lead magnet that is for, for organic, organic, um, organically, right? You can ask your close friends. Please, you still have some close friends that will support you. You can ask your close friends and family to repost your content for you and give you what we call UGC content. UGC is user generated content. For a reward. Say, for instance, you have a friend that knows how to do TikTok videos and you sell dresses. You can tell that your friend that, babe, you sabi this TikTok video, I know sabi. Please, do a mini TikTok vlog for me. This dress, help me drum. I dash you. You know, like, ah, you really dash me this fine clothes. Okay, now, the person will do vlog for you. You know, those vlog. I don't want this thing to be long. I don't want to waste time. I'll just say, hey guys, can you see this? My nice skinny phone that I just bought from uh, Abike Couture. It's so nice. That's what I'm wearing today. Go follow, follow me out. You know how those kind of content she will share, people will see, and then they will come to you and wow, I saw. I hope you are getting the flow and you are getting the gist. Okay, but like I said, know your business, know who you want to serve so that it works for you. Because if you are trying to, some of you will ask, who is your target audience? If you say you don't know, or you say everybody. If you are selling to everybody, you are selling to nobody. Yes. Because you continue to attract only good day at only two, at your rural level, at your good way. At the end of the day, it's not going to give you any result. At the end of the day, it's going to be a waste of time and effort. And you'll be like, ah, oh, or oh, it's you that do not even know what you are doing from the get-go. So that's that. That's that. Um, that's that for that. So basically, once you do all of these things, just rinse and repeat. Okay, rinse and repeat, and that is you're good to go. 
So um, this particular strategy I just shared with you, I call it my organic list booster strategy. And it works all the time. It works all the time. I use this to build my new WhatsApp number back then when I just started it. From zero, from zero, it grew to over 400. It's simple, right? Know what you're doing, know who you want to serve, and have a valuable lead magnet. People are not stupid, though. Don't give people your things that they don't need, things they already have, things that is not good look for them. They're wasting your time. So that's that for that. That's that for that. Then for paid hats, the, the other part is, is as simple as you need a WhatsApp business account for this, though. You need a WhatsApp business account for this. Just run Facebook adverts to your WhatsApp. You can, you can even do 1,000 naira per day. You'll be surprised at the number of highly targeted people who we have in your WhatsApp. So that is that for that. Remember, when developing your campaign, that is your Facebook adverts and all of that, uh, even if you want, you can even still even use this um, for when you're developing your, even for organic, organic as well. That is, let's say you are trying to create your Facebook posts, Instagram posts, and all of that. Ensure that you don't use generic messages. Mm -hmm. Ensure that you don't use generic messages. Be very, very clear in your messaging. Be very clear so that you are only attracting people that are interested in what you are doing to contact you. Because putting out generic messages is a waste of time. We attract really big so Sometimes we even attract nobody because your message is too generic. It's not targeted at anybody or it is targeted at everybody. And like I said earlier, everybody is what? Nobody. Now, moving on, moving on, moving on, moving on. We've spent so much time on that one. Ha, have you even told you people things that, ha, oh my God. Hi, there are some things I, I shared with you guys there that I'm not supposed to share with you people because, because people did not pay for this class. Hey. Anyways, it's you people's luck. Let's move on. Let's move on. So, moving ahead. Remember, sort out your leads, your prospects, your to be customers into different categories now this is where labeling comes in right this is where labeling comes in and this is where funnels if you if you actually use an automatic whatsapp funnel to actually do all of these things you will understand what i'm saying it should be easy for you because each person is in different category because there are some there are some people who call art right there are some people who call art art leads there are some we call cold leads and there are some we call warm leads and there are even some we call not cold not warm see those hot leads those ones you buy from you now 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 they are already, like they ready fall for you they are in love with you they are in love with everything you do those warm they are saying between like mm, should i should i not you see those cold ha ah, you do serious work on those ones and let me tell you something the way you will talk to a cold customer is different from the way you will talk to a warm customer and it is different from the way you will talk to a hot customer. So that is the reason why it is important that you source them out and qualify them so that you can send targeted messages to them. Right? In the last um in the last training I did, mini training before this particular webinar we're having right now. I told you guys about WhatsApp business features and labels. This is where you can use the labels feature. Even your WhatsApp status, this is where you can use it. Even your broadcast feature, this is where you can use it. Different messages for different categories of people, depending on where you fall in. So remember to always sort out your leads. Do you understand? Remember to always sort them out. Add them to different broadcast lists based on how you have categorized them for easy follow up. Okay. And um, also save their contacts with tags. But if you are doing an automatic funnel, automatically it tags them for you, labels them for you. Use label, right? So that you can easily watch, follow up with them on WhatsApp status. Because do you know there's a way you can show your WhatsApp status to different people? You don't have to show 
the same WhatsApp status you're showing to your auto audience is not the same you should be showing to your warm um, audience and it is not the same you should be showing to your cold audience because why? They are different. One is already in love with you. One is still thinking about it. And one does not send you at all, at all, at all. Boy, where the toes get, the way where you go take follow person, get where don't, where don't fall. Give up on the one where you go take follow. When they get, just they come up. It's different. You guys can agree, right? It's different. So this is why it is very, very important. And if you can handle WhatsApp community, you can actually use that. But I've, I've not really seen the importance of that WhatsApp community, to be very frank. I'm not really a fan of WhatsApp community, but if you can handle it, go ahead and do that. Now, I would say create WhatsApp communities only for your hot customers or people that have already bought from you. Customers that have already bought from you, right? You can create a WhatsApp community for them and just put them there so that when you have new offers, you'll be the first to be sharing it with in that community. But before you add them to the community, members who are going, do you mind to join my WhatsApp community? That Recently, Star Times did that because I bought Star Times. Star Times decoder recently because of Cristiano Ronaldo. If you follow me on social media, you already know I'm obsessed with Cristiano. So I bought the decoder because I wanted to be watching his game and so the DSTV is not showing it. So I had to buy Star Times. They've called me twice because I bought it. It's not even up to two weeks. They've called me twice to tell me, hey, please, ma, we want to add you to our WhatsApp. Why do you think you want to add me to WhatsApp? Oh, you see, follow up. I'll go, I'll go, they pay for subscription. They've called me, ma. A week, a week I use the decoder. They called me, <laughs> ma. We are running from <laughs> guys. Let me know, let me know about you guys. Let me know, but let's not waste time. But it's very important, right? So only use it for people that have bought from you, for your hot customers, people that have really, really bought from you, so that you can be sending updates to them when you have new because every time they, they might not have time to do your WhatsApp status sometimes. And they might not even see your post on social media sometimes. But when you have them to that community, when you have something, you can just drop it. But like I said, ask their permission. You see what Star Times did? They called me twice. They asked me, Ma, can we add you to our WhatsApp community? And I told them, go ahead, there's no problem. Because I want to be remembering to though I will remember that that one is even because I accept um, when the season is over and you know remember. But for now I remember because I want to watch Ronaldo. So let's not um Let's not waste time. Let's let's continue. Let's continue. Let's continue. Let's continue. Let us continue. So now it's time for you to build that trust again. So uh, you know the fact that you actually got their consent and their permission before you go ahead to market to them. It will actually make uh, it will make them trusting you to be very easy. So let me let me put it this way. And then when I say permission. Hey, let me clear myself here. For some of you, you can't start begging people. No, it's not like you're gonna start begging people. Hey, don't don't go and start embarrassing yourself and be begging people. Um, that's that's not what I mean. That's not what I mean. I hope. Let me. Do, I don't know why that thing just came to my mind that I should say it. So I've said it. That is not what I mean. That is that if you go out about begging people, if that's the way you understood it, if there's somebody here that that's the way you understood it that made the Holy Spirit. Tell me to say it, please. That is not how it is. You're only degrading yourself. You're only devaluing yourself and downgrading yourself. Don't go about begging people. Okay, now that that is clear, I have I have delivered the message that the Lord sends me. <laughs> I beg, I'm not a pastor and I'm not a prophet. Let's continue, guys. So the fact that you actually got their consent before going ahead to market to them, it will make them to trust you again. Right, it will help them to start building that trust. So, if somebody that has been out broken, a girl that has been out broken, when you meet a guy that is now, you know, showing you love, doing things for you that you wish your former guy was doing that he did not do, you know, you say, ah, and give this guy a chance. It's like this guy is different. Ah, it's like this guy loves me. It's like you know all those things. So the perception and the mind will start to change. So, and there's something I want you to know. Remember. That your business will only thrive when you build your KLT factor, right? Because people will only buy from you when they know you, like you, and eventually when they trust you. Because when there's no trust, when there's no like, and they don't even know that you exist, how will they buy from you? There's no way they'll buy from you. But then again, there's one more thing. Yes, 
You see that in this place, I wrote KLTR, and that how is respect. Yes, respect. Hmm. Remember, I said it earlier, just I said respect is reciprocal. And see, people admire and they adore the people they respect. Did I lie? Let confirm it to me in the comment section. There's somebody here, two people want to want you to do so, want you to do something for them. One, you trust the person. The second one, you trust the person and you respect the person. Who will you go for? Who or who will you go with? Is it not the person you trust and respect? That's just it. Let me let me hear from you in the comment section. Do you agree? Is it not the person that you trust and respect? Do you understand? So you need to earn the respect of your to-be customers. This will ensure that you are always top of mind for them whenever they need what you offer or what you sell. And this brings me to the HOP principle. This was a principle that I actually formulated by myself. The H in this principle stands for honest. The O in this principle stands for open. And the P stands for prompt or present, right? The HOP principle. Now, guys, let's continue. For H, I say honest. Always be honest. See, that's how to build respect. Though. This is how you build, like, make people respect you. Be honest. When you promise something, always keep to your promises. For instance, if you say you open by 8 a.m., and you close by 6 p.m. Please, don't let your customers get to your shop by 9 a.m. and you have not opened. It's very bad. It shows you don't have integrity. For instance, on your WhatsApp business, you sent them an away message that said, you know those automatic, when people just send the hi, automatically the away message has come. And I hope those of you that watched that um, training that I said you should stop doing, I did a full training on it. I hope you have watched it and you have taken correction. For instance, in that message, you will say, we'll get back to you. And you never get back to them. You never, you never get back. And you expect such a person to buy from you. They cannot buy from you. Right? Always keep to your promises. Always show respect to your customers. Some of you, I don't know. Some of you, some of you, I don't know. You don't have, some of you don't know. You don't know how to treat customers right. You will be using highs to be profiling some people that this one get money, this one don't get money. So you, you, you don't, you don't, you don't serve your people equally. It is very, very wrong and very, very bad. Right? The O. Open. See, your customers are human beings. And they are living in this, in this world with us. They are living in this Nigeria. They know how things are. You don't need to lie. Be open. If you need help, ask. Don't let your head go. Ego gets in the way. For instance, somebody has ordered something. And you've not yet delivered. And you know that that delivery is going to delay. And this person is, because, but because you, 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 in your mind, you don't want the person to be angry or whatever, you are, you are, you are lying. You will get it. You will get it. Or let me not even use delivery. Let me use another example. Because you've not sold this last month, somebody now entered your DM and said, I want to buy something. You have that thing. But because you've not sold this last month, the person now told you, I want it delivered by 6 p.m. And the person is making the order by let's say 10 a.m. Fair enough, 10 a.m. I want it by 6 p.m. I need to use it tonight. Go, 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 go. But because you want to shout out, Ma, don't worry, by 4 p.m. you will get it. When you know, you know your heart of heart that that person cannot get it by 4 p.m. The person will not pay. Wait, wait, wait. They will not get it until two days' time. And you expect that person to buy from you again. No! And the danger in this is it's not, it's not even the fact that the person will not buy from you again that is the problem. The problem is the person will spoil your name to at least 10 other people. Ah, you know that? Eh, Olori Gweske Kucho, Ma Bara Jao, Kenyan Pairo, Obon Yen Pairo, Ah, Obon Gen Yen Wode, Nimo Sango Fon Ko Deliver O Jami. You say, eh, eh, ah, send it, Kwa Yen Ando, eh, let me block her. So that will not mistake you, patronize her. You see? So you need to be open. Don't let ego or sapa. Make you do the wrong thing. Because on the long run, it will give your business a very bad effect. Do you understand? Then the P stands for being prompt 
and being present, right? Don't forget your people. So if somebody came to make inquiry and you just ignore them, you did not answer their question, it's very bad. Hmm? Don't abandon them. And sometimes some customers, what they want, they want instant answer. Do you agree? Instantly, they ask you like this, they want you to answer them instantly. Or they want that information instantly. It could even be that the person that will make the decision with them, maybe they want to buy something and the hus their husband is what is who we pay. And the husband is beside them. And then said, you again, let me buy that again. How much is this thing? Say, hey, madam, how much is that thing? No. And they're not online. They're not where to be found. So a way message has instantly dropped. They are currently not available. We get back to you. We make up in the company. We never get back. The husband, we about for how far. Then she never replied. She never replied. She now reply after five hours. Or oh, the next day. Or, oh. uh -huh, my husband, she not go even answer it. But, and, but see, when the person that was going to pay was beside me, he did not answer. Then she, do you see that? So you need to apply this HOP principle. Be honest. Be open, be prompt and present, right? All of these things on the long run, it adds to your social capital. It builds your brand value in the eyes of people and it hands you respect, which is greater than trust. So as you are building your KLT factor, do the ARU factor as well. Do you understand? Build the how factor as well and this brings me to this point this is where you need to get external help you only have 24 hours in a day she wants to hear me do you want to hear me my brother my sister 24 hours is not enough for you in a day that's the truth you cannot do everything alone by yourself you need to get external help. Employ extra hands. Just increase your 24 hours. You know, as an individual, you have 24 hours. But if you get somebody else to work with you, you now have 48 hours. If you get two extra people to work with you, you now have 72 hours. Do you realize that? Do you know? You don't know this. Do you, do you, do you know this before? Let me know in the comment section. Are you guys even still following me? Let me read from you in the comment section. Right? Time is your greatest asset in life. Most of you don't know. Time is your greatest asset. That is why companies are employing people. Come and work as manager. We'll pay you $150,000. We'll pay you $500,000. Think to your uh, CEO, no guessings. No, no, he's going to take money. He's paying for your time. Because CEO, no, saying only in your 24 hours, no go feel on that business. So he delegated the time. He wants more time. Time is your greatest asset because time lost can never be regained. But money lost can be regained. But time lost, time lost is lost forever. Like as a man like this, I can never be 20 years old again. I don't pass on 50. I never I can never be 20 years old again in my life. I don't pass on. Time is your greatest asset. Learn how to maximize it. Learn how to monetize it. Do you understand what I'm saying? Learn it. You can employ social media managers. You have bought time like that. Pay for their time. Their time will not become yours at that time. Are you guys following me? Let me see you in the comment section, right? Just get a WhatsApp manager. Maybe I know some businesses, right? There's a lady I know. She sells bag and shoes and all that on, on, on Instagram and TikTok. She has like five WhatsApp managers. Yeah, those she has five girls. Those five girls, they have one one phone each, and there's WhatsApp on those phones. They resume by eight and close by six. Their job is to handle those WhatsApp and attend to customers between those periods of time. So she has those five numbers. You'll be like, send your orders to this person. You can't send orders to two people at the same time because that's their job. Because she knows only she cannot handle it. She she won't die okay moving on guys so the next thing that you need to do is that you need to use whatsapp business automations now i call this um the mini automation system because if you use all of the features in whatsapp business 
um, if you use it very, very well and maximize those features, you can actually be able to, you know, um, build like a mini funnel for your business with WhatsApp business. Because take for instance, when you use the label and then you label um, your, your leads or your prospective customers based on what brought them to your WhatsApp and the sorting out that you've done, it will be easy for you to actually do follow up, right? Because you've labeled them already. And that way you won't be missing out on important, um, um, which, how, how should I call it? You won't be missing out on the important things because you are able to label your customers. You are able to reach out to them based on why they are with you, based on what they want and based on whether they are hot, they are warm or they are cold. You know, I already explained all of this at the, um, behind. So I, I believe you should understand what I'm saying. So you'll be able to set up your automations right if you use your water business features properly it can certainly help you to buy time for instance you can archive some some important charts so that whenever you come online those are the first set of people that you check the downside of these and um, water business automations is just that um if for instance they have saved you have saved their own number because they came to you for adventure they didn't save your own contact you know, you won't be able to know whether they saved your number or they did not save your number. So, for adventure, they didn't save your number. They will not. They might not really get your messages, right? They might not get your get all the promotional messages that you're sending to them, all your marketing messages that you're sending to them, even though they they've given you the permission to be able to do that. Remember, so they won't get it because they did not save your contact. You are the only one that saved their contact. So that's like the downside. Of using just the WhatsApp business automation system because um, you're going to be sending it, but because you didn't save your number, you are not going to get it. Right? That is like the downside of it. Now let's move on to to the next one. Time, our time is fast spent. Let's move on to the next one. The next one, of course, is use advanced AI automations. Like this is like running your business on on beast mode, right? This is like running your business on uh, your business on beast mode because with this way. Even if you don't save your number, it's, 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 it's like you're not concerned, you're not bothered. Even if you are the only one that saved your contact and then they told you, I've saved your number, but they didn't save it, you're not worried, you're not bothered, right? Because, of course, you don't remember you are using permission based marketing, and when you send them permission and messages, they will definitely get it. And with this um, advanced AI automation, this one is actually more efficient and it will help you to save costs on the long run. Do you understand? It will help you to save cost on the long run. And it is actually the absolute best result. Because guess what? With AI automations, with these advanced AI automations, it never it never takes a break. Right? It never takes a break. And even if it's it's midnight, even if you are sleeping, even if you are busy, it is still there to attend to people. You only need to set it up once, and that is the end. It will always be there. To attend to people, right? With AI automations, let's say somebody wants to know the price of something right now, and they want to pay for you right now, and they need your website address right now. They need some very vital, important information like ASAP right now, and you are not available to attend to them, or even let's say they sent it in the midnight. You are not bothered. Do you know why you are not bothered? Because the AI is going to respond to them immediately, and you are not going to lose that sale. Because at that instant, at that point where they feel or like they already they've already made up their mind, there's no other excuse for them not to proceed because everything is there for you. You've already set it up already to attend to them instantly, right? So this helps you buy time, this saves you cost on the long run, like I have said, in the sense that you only set all of these things up once and you never have to pay for anything again. But let's say you want to employ a social media manager or WhatsApp managers, you need to buy phones. You would need to have different WhatsApp numbers, right? Buy phones for different people, and they will still close. So by the time they drop the phone in the office or the you at home, and then they go home to resume back by 6 p.m. the next day, or sorry, 8 p.m. the next day, those long hours, uh, the phone is switched off because they've closed. Imagine the number of people that would have sent you messages that you will only be able to attend to them in the morning. Whereas if it was AI, you would have attended, attended to them immediately. Aside from that, you're also going to be paying them salary every month. But with AI, you're not paying salary. 
you're not paying anything just set it up once and for all and that is the end and then it, it does the thing for you for life do you understand so that that's like the advantage and another advantage like i said earlier um which is like the, the disadvantage of relying just on the water business of automation which i call the mini automation system is that for water business if the other person which is your prospective customer does not save your number they will not get your messages they will not get your marketing messages and your promotional messages they will not get it so at the end of the day it will still be frustrating because you are sending it but they are not getting it but with this um advanced ai automations even if they don't save your number and all of that they are still going to get it. Do you understand? Even if they don't see the number, they are still going to get it. So let me just um, show you how you can actually do this with just your smartphone. And that's, that's like the beauty of all of this. You don't need to be tech savvy. You don't even need to know anything. You don't need a laptop to do it. You don't need to have a laptop by fire by phone. You don't need to have complex systems. All you need is just a smartphone to be able to actually use this um, advanced AI automation stuff. Let me just show you guys how it is on my smartphone, right? So that you see that this is something that you can actually do on your smartphone. So let me just show you guys. So let's continue and let me show you how this actually works um, on your mobile phone. Like I said, you don't even need a laptop for this. So I'm going to be showing you guys two funnels, just so you see that um, these actually like, um, you know, add tags to the names that it's going to save for you automatically so it creates the funnel for you automatically so this way you it's already like doing the sorting out for you automatically remember i said it that um, you need to also like um sort out your your prospect that is people coming into your your whatsapp dm you need to know where they are coming from you need to have separate funnels for separate things and separate people coming into your into your whatsapp funnel so that you know how to actually reach out to them your marketing messages and this actually helps you to do all of that automatically so i'm going to show you about two funnels yeah about two funnels because of time i'm going to show you about two funnels and how it actually works on using just your phone right so right now this is um one of my whatsapp numbers and um, as you can see here the number is not saved i've deleted it so that um, i'll be able to show you this and this is another one another my whatsapp number and this number is actually also not saved so let us just um go into go into the go into the business of the day so wh what i'm now going to do let, let me just um, send this message let me let me start with this one remember most of you it's not even a matter of most of you yeah, let's say most of you most of you would have would be familiar with this particular message you know when you click on my on my whatsapp link it's going to bring you to my whatsapp so so let's say you've created your own whatsapp link as well for your product or for your business or for what you're selling and all of that and they click on that whatsapp link to bring them to whatsapp it's going to come like this and then the next thing they are going to do of course they will add just their name so let me add my name mm, let me not use mandy let me use um, matilda let me use matilda so matilda okay so once like it brings them here and then they've added their name so let me just send it you're going to see what's going to happen right now you can see that Immediately, it is telling me, hello, Matilda, right? I've saved your number as my, I'm, I'm very sure most of you, you got this, right? I've saved your number as Matilda. You can see Matilda saved down here. It has saved it automatically while I'm still here. Like, I did not even lift my finger, right? And then it has said, save mine and all of that and reply with webinar to get the group link. So basically what this person has to do because it has been saved automatically already, what this person just needs to do send webinar and then they are going to get what what they came for so let's let's just go right here and check you can see the number i showed you guys so let's see you can see it has already saved it matilda can you see that i didn't leave here it has already saved it matilda hello matilda this is do save mine and reply so if i reply now let me reply this webinar and then you're going to see let me reply. So this is Matilda. Now let me reply. You're going to see what is going to happen, right? You're going to see what is going to happen. You can see. You can see that. You can see that, right? Now let me check. Did you really save it? Can you see that? Let's come back here. Can you see that? 
can you see that so let's let's check um the address book let me let me start because it's going to save automatically in your um google um contacts or wherever you wherever you choose okay that's where it's going to save so let me just come here and search for matilda can you see that it has saved it did you see that it has saved it automatically i didn't even have to do anything and did you notice the tag did you notice the tag so this tells me that this person came for the wmt there stands for whatsapp marketing training okay so this tells me that this person came for the whatsapp marketing training so let let, let me show you another lead sorry let me show you another funnel and how it saves it as well automatically now as you can see i have deleted the number again and i want to show you another funnel and let's see that so let me come back here you can see the number has been deleted again so let me just um let me let me um get my message so let's say this is the message i want to use and um, let's say i want to use um so this is another one for one of my other funnels like um I saw your post on Facebook and all of that. So you click on this link, it brings you here. So let me still use that same Matilda. Let me still use that same Matilda. And once I do that, of course, you know, the person we had their name. I, well, I want you to notice something. Okay, let me not use Matilda again. Let me use um, Bella. Or let me use Esmeralda. Esmeralda. So one thing I want you to notice is it is the name. The person puts here that it is going to save as so anything the person writes here it is going to save as that thing so if the person writes anything it will take it that, that's their name right so let me write esmeralda so let me just send it so i got your distance so let me send it the person will send me this message you can see it says hello esmeralda you're welcome to my space i've saved your number as esmeralda to save mine as my Rachel. and so once this is done like once this is done the next thing you are now going to do of course is um let's go and check remember it said the number has been saved let's now go and check the other line let's see as the number been saved let's come here you can see that the number has been saved as esmeralda F B A D L one now that is the tag that telling me this funnel this is where this person is coming from right so when the person will, um, sends me saved it continues like that so there's there are actually ways you can like continue the sequence for as much as possible and there are several ways to do that but i don't want us to waste time here but let me go and still check so now let us check the address book and check for it here so let me just put esmeralda you can see esmeralda has been saved and you can see the tag so once i see this tag i know this particular funnel where it belongs to do you understand i know where this particular funnel belongs to now let's assume eh, let's assume that somebody sends you a message right but they do not put their name what happens so as you can see the number has been deleted again and now let us um let us go back here so let's say this person they clicked on your link and then they landed on your on your whatsapp of course but they did not put their name so let me just copy this first message and use it to, to do this so let us do this let me cancel the matilda so this person clicked on my link and then they here or they clicked on your link the link brought them to your whatsapp with the programmed message in your link and then for some weird reasons they did not include their name maybe they forgot maybe they don't want to put their name they don't want you to know that or whatever like they just did not put their name what is going to happen does that mean it will not save their contact and you will have to still maybe when you come online that's when you are not going to respond to them manually no at least for the saving of the contact parts 
it will still save their contact and there's a way to go about it let me show you so let's say they sent you this message but they do not put their name so now this person has clicked on send but this person did not put their name so you can see it says you can see it has responded it said hello there can you please copy the message you sent and add your name to it then we send the message back to me make sure you include your name to the message before we send it back to me in this way you get responded to accordingly as you can see so let's say now for instance the person copied the message but still did not put their name let's see what is going to happen the person did not still put their name let's see what's going to happen you see hello there can you please copy the message add your name then we send it back to me make sure you include your name to the message before we send it back to me again this way you get so it would it would tell them this so until the person will now like eventually get it out they need to add their name to it so once they like type the message like let's just put their name let's say person's name is still like you know let's still use that um matilda let's say mail do you understand m-a-i-l now when the person now sends it see what happens hello mail and you know it saves their contact automatically like that with their view name do you understand and then it tags it and adds them to the funnel depending on the funnel that um, that is that you're using so you can actually have as many funnels as possible just set it up once and that is the end you can have up to 150 funnels like as many funnels as possible for your business so, so this is just me showing you a demo of how it works so let's say you have a uh, product different products different funnels and you know you can actually do all of this thing at the back end set it up once at the back end and it automatically adds them there for you you don't even have to stress you don't even have to lift your finger you do anything by yourself now i know you might be wondering what if somebody just finds you randomly they didn't click on any link to come to you but will you still save their contact but you still need to still come online to meet them manually and start sorting them out yourself no it will still save their number and i'm going to show you how it's going to do that so now somebody sent you a message randomly maybe they got your number from your social media and those randomly or maybe your customer referred someone to you and give the person your phone number and the person decided to chat with you on whatsapp or maybe your friends referred you to somebody and then the person just sent you a message like the message just comes randomly but not from a designated phone or a designated link do you understand that the person just sent you a message you need to chill until you come online to save their contact manually or will this still save it for you automatically with their real name i'm going to show you how that works right now because yes it is still going to save their contacts with their real names and you don't have to still come online to be stressing yourself to be saving the contacts manually by yourself one by one so as you can see here this particular phone number here um it's it's not saved it has been unsaved and all that so let's come back here now you can see this one as well so let's say the person just they, they just somebody just gave them their number they saw your number maybe on facebook on instagram on twitter wherever and and then they just said okay just decide to say hi let's say it was hi they just sent to you they just sent hi so what is going to happen so you can see it has responded hello nice having you here i don't have your number saved on my phone kindly reply with your full name right now this message has been sent to that person now let, let us go and check you can see that said hi i don't have your number saved here and all of that can say your name is mary aloysius right let's send it like that so you can see that your name is maybe aloysius right yes or no right it's going to ask you that yes or no you understand so if you, your name is mira you just say yes if if you say no it is still going to ask you for the name again but let's say it says yes right it says yes 
now it says your number has been you can see Maria Lotius has been saved. Right? Basically, this is how it is done. If you have said no, it will still direct you and you don't have to manage. So, so let's say a hundred people randomly send you a message in a day. That one hundred times it is going to do this for you and save your contact. A thousand people send you random messages in a day. That one thousand times it is going to do this for you and save it. So you don't have to stress yourself, you don't have to bother yourself, and it is going to save it. And then create a funnel for you automatically. So you know that these are the random people that sent me a message and you know how to um, undo them, right? Because it will automatically create a funnel for you. Let, let us go and check it. You can see that saved it. Maybe Aloysius. You can see OTL there, right? It shows you that is, that is, that is the tag it gives to it, right? For you to know that these are the organic leads that came to me not from my funnel that I set up. So it sets it up, it, 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 it segments this one also for you automatically. So all of this process is really, really easy for you to, to, to do and all of that. Now, I know you are wondering, now let's say you have several numbers on your phone that you have not saved, right? Like you have like 500 contacts, 1,000 contacts, 100 contacts, 50 contacts, 200 contacts as many contacts as possible that, you know, you want to save them, but the stress of saving them is just so much. But you want to save them, right? There's a way you can save them automatically all at once with a generic name. Do you understand? With a generic name and everything saves for you. So I'm going to show you how you can actually do that right now. So you simply come to your WhatsApp, right? This is your WhatsApp business. Just click on this search icon so once you click on this search icon you're going to see something that says contact non-contact on red and this is another way for you to you know track messages that you've not read right messages that you've not read that you need to respond to once you click on it all your own red messages will come up but that's not what we are here to do right now you see contact non-contact and all of that so just click on this non-contact once you click on non-contact, it will bring up all of the numbers that are unsaved on your phone. So all these numbers right here now, I've not saved them. Like, it has not yet um, saved on my phone and I want to save them. Everything right now is going to save automatically with just one click. Do you understand? Let me show you guys what I mean. You can see it's, it's right in scanning. You can see this scanning that is showing down here. Now, let us just watch it. Everything is going to see. Let's just give it time. You can see it is saying adding 6 of 36 contacts. So currently, I have 36 contacts on my phone. On this right now, that is not yet saved. And it's going to save everything right now. So you can see it's automatically. Can you see how it is adding it? Like, I don't have to do anything. It is adding it automatically. So I don't have to sit down and start saving contacts one by one, one by one, one by one. So even if you have 1,000 unsaved contacts, it will save it for you automatically. Even if you have 200, 100, you know, depending on whatever number that you have, it is going to save everything for you automatically. Do you understand? So you can see. You can see that it has saved it look at f r l e d that's the tag i gave to it so that i recognize them based on the funnel that i want to set up for them so it saves it for you automatically like this without you having to lift a finger to so start saving contact manually for yourself okay everyone i hope that we are still together so i just had to really show you how that is going to play out on your mobile phone and like i said you don't need a laptop to actually do all of these things and you can actually be able to use all of these to you know buy time for yourself and maximize your 24 hours in a day so that way you get more value out of your 24 hours do you understand and it helps you to do so much more with less effort right with less effort so let us just continue but before that let me just give us a quick summary of everything that we have um, 
learned so far. And also, feel free to drop your questions in the comment section, okay? Let me see your questions. If you have questions, so many things going through your mind right now, drop your questions in the comment, okay? Drop your questions in the comment. Okay, so, so far, um, we've been able to establish the fact that water marketing has evolved and what actually works before, you know, it no longer works today. It's a fact and you, you can actually testify to that, which I, I believe that you know already. And also, we established the fact that permission-based marketing is is the way to go right for you to be able to you know make the most out of your whatsapp marketing efforts also the hop principle will help you if you use it properly please use it well uh -huh. then respect will hand you your customer's loyalty that's a fact that is just a fact respect will earn you your customer's loyalty see if you want your customers to be your your evangelist like they would just literally be telling people good things about you. you are, of course, you have to be good to them and all of that. So you need to, first of all, earn their respect and, you know, just follow all of the things that I shared um, to, you know, earn the respect of your customers. Why do you think people queue to buy iPhone, Apple products every year? It's because people actually respect the Apple brand and what they stand for and their brand values and everything. So respect will go a long way to any you customer's loyalty so make sure you don't joke with that factor now also you need to know time is your greatest asset and ai automations will make your life a whole lot easy time lost it can never be regained but if you still lose money you can get money back and that's where most people miss it most people try to save money eh, and spend time time that you can never get again you are trying to save money to spend time at the end of the day you are worn out but when you spend um when you when you you're trying to sorry you're trying to save money to spend time no but when you save time and spend money instead that is the wisest decision and that's what billionaires do you don't save money right to spend time you don't save money to spend time you save time to spend money make your money work for you when we say make your money work for you make your money work for you that is it money lost you can get it back Money invested, it will multiply. Do you understand? And the thing is this, time gives the highest, highest return in value for anything. You spend your time to go to school. You spend your time to learn a skill. You spend your time to learn a trade. By the time you are done, that thing will reward you and pay you for life. That is just it. So guys, um, I hope we all are on the same page right now and we are still together and you're still following me. But I have an irresistible offer for you. Yes, I have an irresistible offer for you. Only if you need me to help you for that. I'm here to, you know, help you. I have an irresistible offer for you. So just hear it. Actually, I have a couple of irresistible offers for you. So about five different offers is what I have for you. So let me just get started with this first one. This first one is that... I'm going to show you the AI tools that you need to help secure the back end of your business automations and teach you how to use it. Right? I am going to show you this AI tool, teach you how to use it. That is the offer one. It's supposed to cost you a hundred thousand naira, but guess what? You're not going to pay hundred thousand. You're going to pay just fifteen thousand naira. And that's why I said it is irresistible because I know how much I actually paid to learn this. And not just even the money I pay to learn this, the years of experience I've been able to, you know, master this, the experience and everything. So it actually was more than this, but you're not going to pay that amount. This is just what you're going to pay, but it doesn't end there. It doesn't end there because as a bonus, I would also be showing you how to run Facebook ads to your WhatsApp to generate quality leads and prospective buyers for free as a bonus. Now, getting real people that are actually really interested in what you do i'm also going to be showing you how to do that with facebook as that i'm going to show you how to actually do that now the second irresistible offer i have for you of course is i will help you set up the ai tool in a fully done for you system tailored to your business now i will build it for you and you simply just plug and play and use it like complete done for you system it's i will do it for you 
So I'm taking the burden off you this time around. I'm going to just help you do everything. Okay, so this is the second offer I have for you. I'm going to do everything for you. And normally it's supposed to cost you 220,000 naira. That's like the price. But you're not going to pay that because what you're going to pay is just 40,000 naira. And I'm going to do everything for you, right? I'm going to complete stone for you and everything. So the third offer I have for you, of course, is um, I would help you set up your own personalized contact saver. Like it's exactly the same way I showed you. I will help you set it up. That way you get to see people's contacts with their real names through a funnel. I'm going to help you do that as well. And normally it's supposed to cost you 150,000 naira, but you're going to pay just 35,000 naira for this. Now there's more. I would also, um, you know, how to save all unsaved contacts on your phone or previously unsaved contacts with a generic name of your choosing and all of that is to save automatically without you lifting a finger. Out. And this offer is supposed to cost you 120,000 naira, but that's not what you're going to pay because you're going to pay just 25,000 naira. Chicken money. Now let's continue, guys. The fifth one I have for you is my complete storm for you system, including how to follow up with personalized messages, set up error messages, and how to make your WhatsApp unbannable. Because guys, see, with knowledge comes power, right? With knowledge and information comes power. And one thing about power, if you misuse power sometimes, it's not even sometimes, if you misuse power most of the time, it can backfire and turn around to hurt you. So I'm going to show you how you can actually make it and do all of these things in an ethical way that is supported by WhatsApp so that your account doesn't get banned. Do you understand? So I'm going to show you how to do that. Normally, this is supposed to cost you 240,000 naira, but that is not what you're going to pay because you're going to pay just, just 75,000 naira. Guys, it doesn't end there. Remember I told you it's going to be an irresistible offer. It doesn't end there because my fastest action takers bonus for 24 hours alone, right? For 24 hours, you're going to get three done for you WhatsApp for near for free. For absolutely free and also access to my premium lifetime tool for free. That is for those of you that take up this fifth offer in the next 24 hours. You're also going to get this for free. As a bonus, absolutely free of charge. Do you understand? Absolutely free of charge. Also, I have a 50% fast action takers bonus for you for the next 72 hours. You know what that means? That means on all of these offers for the next 72 hours, you're going to get 50%, like a whooping. You know, I already gave you discount already, but you're not going to get additional and extra 50% discount, right? 50% discount on this for the next um, 72 hours. So what that means is that this offer, this um, this particular offer five, instead of you to pay 75,000 naira, you're only going to pay um, 37,500. That is what you're just going to pay for the next 72 hours, right? Now, this offer for, this offer for you're only going to pay 25,000 naira. Right, but with the fifty percent discount, you're going to pay just twelve thousand five hundred. Right, just twelve thousand five hundred is what you are going to pay. Now, for this particular one that you have to pay thirty five thousand naira discounted price, if you take the fast action tickets bonus of fifty percent discount, you're only going to pay seventeen thousand five hundred. Whereas, while this offer two of forty thousand naira discounted price. It's going to cost you just 20,000 naira, and then this particular one, this particular one of 15,000 naira, taking advantage of this um 50 percent bonus, uh, sorry, discount is going to cost you just 7,500. Guys, can you see that 7,500 naira alone, right? Provided you take immediate action and take advantage, take advantage of these 72 hours. 50% fast action takers bonus. If you take advantage of it, that is what you're going to pay. And the good thing here is this for those of you that will take this um, offer five, where you're going to pay just 37,500, in addition to that 37,500 naira you're going to pay, you're also going to get this bonus as well. 
so many other things you're going to be getting. You're also going to be getting access to me and all of that. So uh, you can go ahead and make your payment here. This is my account number. It's a GTB account, 0161229848, Mandiwechel, GTB. And then send the proof of your payment to me on WhatsApp through this number, 081 and send your proof of payment to that particular WhatsApp number, okay? So you can actually go ahead and make your payment. If you have any question at all, like I said, feel free to drop it in the comment section. Now let's move on to Q and hey, First and foremost, I hope you enjoyed this class. And I hope you gained a lot of value from this class. Let me see you in the let me see you in the comment. Let me see you in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you gained value from this. So um some questions I, I received that I got was uh uh Mandy, will this work for me? Yes, it will work for you. It will definitely work for you. And um I also got this question that says um I don't really have much products that i'm selling right now can i still do this yes you can still do it See, one of the mistakes i made early in my business is that i did not um, do some things i ought to have done you know there are some things that you should have put in place before some things come right so that you will not um, be overwhelmed that is the word because because maybe because you think um you only get um, 10 5 to 10 leads in a day and you're not setting up the right things that should be making you know you're getting used to all of these things at the end of the day by the time you get your breakthrough and everything comes for you and of course there are ways to get because if you follow everything i taught you in this training there is no way you're not going to see results you will definitely see results and everything gets overwhelming it becomes more tedious and more difficult but if you put everything in place it will just be going smoothly smoothly and aside from that you know all of these things help you do your sorting out remember i said you have to qualify the people coming into your DM and everything like that. And this helps you to sort them out automatically without you having to do all those manual stress. This helps you to save time. Remember I said, time is your greatest asset. Now, another question I get asked because will this work on my uh, iPhone? The answer is no, it's not going to work on your iPhone. You need to get an Android phone. And although it works, it now works on um, Techno, Infinix, and I tell, but there are some glitches there and there. But here's my advice for you: if you are planning to get an Android device, you want to buy a new Android phone because of this. I would advise you to get all these high-end Android phones, like uh, maybe Samsung, Oppo, Vivo, Redmi, Xiaomi. I think Redmi and Xiaomi are the same brand. I think Redmi, Xiaomi, and other. Just stay away from Techno, Infinix, and I tell. Though it never used to work on these brands because they are low-range phones. I don't even know what they call them. But it now works on them. But then again, you know, it's not really like those other ones I listed. Samsung, um, Vivo, um, Redmi, Xiaomi, and the likes. You understand? So if you're planning to get an Android phone because of this, you should get that. Now, can you can you um, pay for the spend the time when you get an Android phone? Well, it depends on how fast and how soon you want to get the Android phone, okay? You can just send me a message on WhatsApp that we can discuss further right we can talk further on whatsapp guys i am extremely tired like i am extremely tired at this point thank you so much for your time i trust that you learned a lot i would love to really hear from you let me see your reactions and everything feel free to come to um i'm, I'm going to even go share more of this with you guys in the in the group and then we, we can i can take more questions answer more of your questions there and answer your questions here as well in the comment section because but right now i need oh sorry for that i beg sorry 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 for that i don't know what happened to my google assistant and why it popped up anyways guys thank you for your time i trust that you learned a lot and um have yourselves a good evening